Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Rune King. In the last episode, we finally made our ways towards, or into, more like it, Thresh's fortress, um, through his dungeon and into the lower wards, where we are trying to get to said evil chain warden man. Thank you, ready? In today's episode, we are going to be delving deeper into the fortress. That was weird. And we're mostly just, you know, going to be going about our business here and there. Starting off with some enemies to take care of. Some easy enemies to take care of. Like so. So, <clears throat> I'm not too sure exactly how long this place is, or how big this place is, is the better uh, statement of it, actually. So, I'm just kind of going to go as is, so we're going to see how well we can do here and there. But for now, we're just going to take it nice and easy. Do some things here and there. And go about Anyone our business. Out? As such. Sorry, did that hurt? <clears throat> and yes, I have the speed up, but I do not care. Honestly, it just gets through the fights faster. And I'm already noticing that we're not having any speech bubbles for the dialogues. So that's uh, going to be a good omen for the rest of these couple episodes that I'm doing here. Okay, so, oh yes, you two. I remember you two. Ah, what have we here? A newcomer. But you are not one of Fresh's servants, and you're out of your cage. How peculiar. You were in a position of power then, but you still cannot roam freely about, as I'm sure you've noticed the warded doors. There are many barriers in this place, and only the powerful may break them. But we can help each other. I can help you break those barriers, and you can free me from my cage. What do you say, Deal? D -d Don't listen to him! He's trying to trick you. As soon as he free, he'll get his hooks into you. You'll never escape. I failed to introduce to there. I failed to introduce you to my neighbor. He is Seth. I am Glynn. He does this to every newcomer here, tries to turn them against me. You've no reason to believe me, but he's trying to deceive you himself, and wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Lies! Lies! The best way to earn tr trust is through action. If we help each other, then we can trust each other. I'll go first. You need to find an amulet with a red stone in it. There is one in the room nearby, just along the way. I couldn't even enter the room if I were free. The room has wars against unliving prisoners. We will be drained of our energy if we venture there. Bring me the stone and I can show you how to use it. It's a trick. It's all a trick. Go. You haven't the time. There's no telling when Thresh will return and find you missing. Well, do you assume he knows I'm even here? Well, it is his dungeon, and he should probably have some knowledge of some things here and there. What do we got? We got the thingy. Firebrand. All right. And looks like some new enemies. Corrupted Guardian. What do we got? This is physical damage taken by 30%. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Overdrive when allies hit overdrive. Ugh. Stagger deals damage to stunts champion. Ugh. This sounds like it's going to be annoying. Okay, let's defend up. Probably don't need to, because he's probably not going to attack us first. Let's take care of you first. Who's next? We should probably die from the damage. Yep, okay. And let's go ahead and do this. And I guess do this as well. Because he can't take that little damage from us. Get you for bop. You're not immune to stuns, are you? No, no, you are not. And what was it? Just attack power? Yeah, that's not too bad if we just, you know, stun him and get him down. There we go. And what does Firebrand do exactly? Deal 22 magic damage per hit. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Push you back a bit. Just for the hell of it. 
And let's do that. Maybe this will do a big chunk of damage. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's really good. Waste of ammo. Oh well, yeah, so he uses up his turn with that. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna take care of the Mind Reaper first, obviously. And that's just a bunch of stacks of terror on us. Wonderful. Well, that's... isn't it? How many? 20! Okay, well that's gonna be annoying. Uh, let us... I could probably kill you in one shot, actually. Yeah, if I get a crit, that might work. Yeah. And everybody's got that. Let's get you going. Let's get this going. Watch the footwork. Okay, not enough damage. Oh well. Another notch on my gun. Close. All oh, right, the the power thing. Right, right. Forgot about that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's not do that then. Ow. And now we can double up, and that will kill. <laughs> No, oh, you are not taunted anymore. Let's get you back up. And let's defend up. There we go. That's nice. I warned you. Now, will yeah, so do anything? Not if he doesn't get any fucking crits. Good lord, what is the point of that? Ugh. Well, we can do this and actually show off one of the new ults, at least. And since Yasuo has the higher chance of actually, you know, killing, I'm gonna let him do it, so, yeah. And then we'll all just act immediately. Alright. Windrush! Forgive me. Classic. Never without purpose. <clears throat> Classic sheath in your dead strat. Unsheath in your dead strat is the more accurate term. Okay. The reason we have Yasso is we can actually get rid of this mist stuff even if the circle still persists. Catalogs, a lot of stuff I still need to read. A lot of stuff. Can I unlock you? Are you gonna be a good person? Okay. Oh, good lord, what are you? <laughs> the wind guides me. Grim Revenant. Alright, uh, what do you do? Oh, shit. Well, there goes the terror stack on Braum. Did I just mute myself? Did I just mute myself? No. Uh, wonderful. Oh, you look so fun to deal with here. Okay, um, cool. Maybe I should get some healing in our team then, because <laughs> I was not expect. Really need healing in this team. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> Another one down. Oh yeah, because we are. Oh, especially with Tempest. Oh boy. Was that a crit? Well, good luck. That's gonna be doing. Ugh. Right, didn't put taunt up. Wonderful. Try and just kill you as fast as possible. Yeah, just hit him again. Bat. This should deal a considerable amount of damage. Bat. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Who's next? Now you're getting the fucking. Wait, 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 wait! You're still stacking terror, even though he's dead. Yeah, so. Okay, no, he's not. <laughs> Bad luck, man. Okay, we're good. Nice chunk of experience. Now then, question is... Does a cleanse potion... Uh... Help? Oh, no it no it does! Okay. Consistency, wonderful. Ooh, ancient cloak and a heart of gold! Alright, so what do we got? Ancient... Ooh, that's really good. Lowers the magic defense, but... Yeah, spell shield's pretty good too. Heart of gold! Luminous damage and stamina. Ooh, that's really good on Pike, actually. Is it good on anybody else? 
Does not seem like it. But yeah, Pike. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, I need to get, like, a Lowie or somebody on our team. Ari, at least. So we can get some healing. Because, uh, yeah, that's no good. Uh, do I even want to bother with you? Yeah, might as well. Another day, another fight. Wait, no, it didn't cleanse it. What the fuck? Okay, it did. What is going on? Can we get some consistency with whether or not I have the thing cleansed or not, please? <laughs> That's just really annoying. There we go. To work for free. Again, speech bubbles are not popping up, so that's going to be really annoying to deal with. If we can't hear anybody. Okay. Hi. Uh, I'm going to unlock it because you seem like you're not having fun behind here. Stop! I don't want to be absolved of my mortality. Stop Guns telling me that's going to happen. <laughs> We shall do this again, yes? Also, absolve you of your mortality. Yes, that's a hard-hitting line, but come on, dude. Ooh, very nice. Are you even worth Yes, you have a chest, or you're obviously gonna... Are you nice? <clears throat> Does that mean you're a nice person? Okay, yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. Captain's Choker. Do we not have that on somebody already? Yeah, fortune. Bonus damage. <laughs> Is that gonna also go on Pike? No, not really. Bonus stam stamina and haste. Is that really any good on anybody? It doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Okay. Where do we go? Oh, here. Crimson Amulet. There we go. Yeah, I need to get somebody on the healing spectrum here. Can I open this? Ugh. Yeah, very inconsistent with the debuffs, by the way, so... Yeah, oh wait, hang on, I was supposed to talk to you guys. Oh, I can't remember. Uh... I can't remember, I'm gonna look up real quick and see what the actual proper answer is. Alright, yeah, we, we're talking to Glynn. Yeah. Yes, that is it. Well done. Now give me the amulet. Yeah? Ow. My apologies. Believe me, I didn't want to hurt you. I just needed a little life essence, and I thought to ask for forgiveness rather than permission. There, I've infused the red stone. It has power, not much, but a little. I can open doors of lesser wards for stronger wards. Well, that's your problem now. I kept my word. Be grateful. Other unliving are not so kind. The life essence I took from you, I can finally leave. Thank you, champion. We will never meet again. I like a wraith. I like a wraith. Who's true to his word. A little bit of damage? I can handle that. I have honestly no idea what happens if you give the amulet to Seth. What does happen if you give it to him? Because I honestly have no idea. If my phone would like to hurry up. I don't know why I'm bothering to look at this. It's IGN. They don't know fucking... They don't tell you anything. Do you... No. Okay. Uh... Versus next order. Okay. <coughs> okay. Anguish cells. Gotta get to the Library of Agony. <coughs> I'm gonna get... Eh, we haven't had a Lowie as a full-on just, you know... This will be our team. Why not? Let's go for it. We haven't had a Lowie in as a tank for a while. There we go. And it's better to swap out than to rest so we don't actually spawn, respawn the enemies. Wasn't there, wasn't there a door up here? Yeah. Where's this lead to? Yeah. Oh, it's just a little ghost over here. Uh, hi friend. Are you friendly? When the world gives you naught. The only thing left is this prayer. 
Okay. Heavenly Bell. But, uh, what is that? Sound of this bell is not as loud as one would expect. It's not diminished from distance. Okay. I'm sure that will be important later. As for what, I do not know. And as for whether or not we need the other three party members for something, I also do not know. It is very uncertain. Do that. And let's continue on. Because at least with Alawi, we'll just be healing every turn. Fortune's favor. Ooh, let's see if that will last more than two fights. Oh, I'm in the mist. To live is no, I'm not, because of the boon. Hell yeah. Okay. Orb still glitched out. Still really mad about that. It's really stupid. Now then, I've come to a little conclusion about Alawi. So, yes, Alawi is more or less a far... Uh, not as superior... Um tank as Braum. Is that really something so bad, though? No. Because Alawi doesn't really rely in the, you know, um... in the just tanking outright damage. Alawi's more into simply taking hits and healing the damage out. Because her tentacles straight up just, you know, heal everything. So... It's better just to hit enemies back with healing and stuff because that's just that's how she works can you guys please stop doing the AOE attacks thank you I'm talking to you too buddy thank you okay uh, let's go ahead and devour hopefully that will be doing something for us later and then I'm gonna do that to you ow Got the healing off, nice. Consumes you. Just getting started. Ow. Okay, I'm right because of the stupid. Uh. All allies. I'll save that for next time. Get this up so we can actually get some healing done. Ow. Let's do this. Now, if Pike can get his stupid stealth up. And see, look how much healing we're doing just outright. Everybody kind of just heals on, like, dealing damage or, like, killing enemies, which is very nice. Uh, don't need to do that. Next up is Lowey anyway. We'll get her to... There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Hell yeah. If Lowey doesn't kill... Okay, I think... I think I figured out what... Phantom Undertow means with um, after performing an action. As far as I can recall, as far as I can make it out, after performing an action means after the enemy performs an action? I want to believe that's what that means. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just gonna... Yeah. Lay up the Nagakabura smackdown. Oof. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what happened? What did you do? Oh, did she reach max stacks? Oh no. Okay. That's, uh... That's not good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's, uh... It's very concerning. And really not good. <laughs> oh, wonderful, these things. Okay. Uh, can we get through here? We can. Do we need to? No, there's some goodies for us here first. But we have a laser thing. Open, 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 smack. There we go. I thought you'd be strong. See, I'm just assuming that it was terror that killed Ari, because that dealt so much damage. What do we get? Hey, there we go. Healing mist and tidal slam. 
Raging Wind and Gathering Storm, and Shield Slam and Heroic Leap. Wonderful! Ow! Not what I wanted to have happen there. Okay. There. Powerlink for its overhealing damage shield. Ooh, that's really good. Damn. Ooh, that's also really good. Oh my god. What about this? Well, I don't really use this. Bleeding Puzzle Mass, Monster Attack for each enemy hit. Ooh, that, that could be really good after using Scourge. Do I really want to upgrade that? No, probably not. Heals most. Ooh, that's really good. Okay. Power link and target and revive a KO'd alley. Okay, that is something we should probably work towards. Just thinking. I'm gonna do this, however, because that's really good. Uh, yeah, I'm not even worrying with those. Additional damage. Plus 50% of damage taken while casting. Ooh, that's really good. That's also really good. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's really good. These are really good. It's a shame I'm not really using those abilities. Sunder is really good. Uh, that's uh, I think I want to do this. Yeah. Should I be upgrading other abilities? I don't. No, no. And what do we got for these? Yes. 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 Why would you not have that? Like, oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> That's just a better way to do it. Like, come on. Okay. Uh, inside chest. Ancient Bevor? What is that? Physical damage, bonus damage, stamina. Is that good on bike? No. Who would that even be good on? Maybe a tanky character? Maybe Fortune? Maybe Ari? Ooh, yes, Ari. Yeah, she needs she needs to be a bit beefier. <laughs> Prisoner in the cell is not unliving. It looks as like it's immortal, still alive, but in a tremendous amount of pain. Uh, I've been here for so long, I don't remember who I am anymore. He took my mind and sliced it up. I don't know if the voices I hear are memories or phantoms he's planted. It's all mixed together, j jumbled up. He's not an agent of death, you see. He he doesn't want you to die. I wish death would visit me before Thresh does again. Can I... Use your screams of agonies to know... To know his omnipotence. Pretty my purpose to him has been served. So they will finally release me. B but you... You can help. Yes, you can help. The tether there, that's what's keeping me alive. Sustaining the little life I have. Sever it. Bid me this boon. Yeah. Why would I not? I hear them. The voices of my children. Calling to me. We will be together again. Eternally. There is nothing left to do here. Well, I granted him a mercy. That's more than money most people can do. The Ruiner. Eh, that's pretty good, but doesn't deal as much damage. Okay. Back to the trappy room. Open up this. Ah, thankfully the lightning's a bit inconsistent as to where it goes. My new job. Ah, yeah. Living soul wandering freely. Illusion of hope. Or perhaps you are hurrying to your grave. I don't know who you are or how you got out. But others have before you. And they always die. Do you see that release? Let me out. I'm living here looks desperate and weak. There's a jagged scar on his forehead that glows of unholy light. Oh that! That's where Thresh did some of his work on me. I was a liar during my life, so he removed my ability to lie. Cut it right out of me. Do you know how painful truth is sometimes? I used to lie to myself all the time, but now I have to face the truth. It hurts. I don't know if you want to attack me. I would attack you. I would kill you if I could. But I sense you are stronger than me, so that would be, be wise. Okay, that is very smart. Um, how'd you get in here? I'm one of Thresh's favorite playthings, so he puts me here amongst his special collections. Lately, he's been experimenting with memories, cutting them out, putting them back in the wrong ones. Wish it would destroy me and be done with it. Now, there's a sensible question. 
I can't help you, but I know someone who can. The attendant a floor below. He has the power to aid you. He can upgrade that trinket you have, your crimson amulet, to bypass more powerful wards. But the poor thing can't remember how. How can we get the attendant to remember? But for memory, of course. And would you look at that? I just happen to have one of his. Feather's memories. Doesn't he seem content, though? You could give him his memory back, and he will aid you. But what will the cost be? We'll free you if you get it just a memory. It's the only sensible thing to do, really. Fair trade, consequences are an afterthought. There we go. I like honest people. Hey, do this thing and I'll give you it. Okay, I'm staying true to my word. I like these guys. These guys these guys know what they're doing. There we go. We should be getting everybody else to level up soon. Ooh, very soon. It looks like everybody's getting pretty close to actually uh, getting close to leveling. Close next to each other. Should be some of the last enemies in this area, and should also get us a level up for everybody else. Yes! And that just gets everybody's last abilities tier upgraded. Now we just need our passive. Right? That's all we need? Just the passive getting another upgrade? Yeah. Soon. Very soon. Hopefully. Whoa, hello! What are you? Ow, pain! Oh, the ward's oh, it's not powerful enough. Damn it! I'll have to check back at that. Let me in. Hello. Oh, you look. Are you. A man sits weakly in the cell, barely clinging to life. His face and arms are covered in sores. He looks up at you and through one, his one dying eye. You're not one of them. You're still living. I came to the Shadow Isles, hoping to find a cure. There's nothing anyone can do for him now, but we can cast Healing Mist on him. Ah. Weaver Relief watches over his expression. The man only finally relaxes. Never thought I'd get respite in here. Thank you. He says, the relief is short-lived, the tension in his face returns. I don't have long now. Here, this is no use for me now. He smiles one last smile. Without warning, he breathes rapidly several times in succession, then has a long, drawn-out exhale. He does not inhale afterwards. He is dead. Ulani's Tidal Orb. Hello. That is something of interest to us, is it not? Offered yeah, there we go. Nothing left to do here. And I don't think there's anything left to do here at all. Okay. Well, we got the memory for the dude. Jesus. So, I guess we're going to go and restore his memory, but I think we'll do that in the next episode, because this seems like a good spot to end it. Uh, next time on Rune King, we're going to be returning the memory to the attendant, seeing if he can offer us anything in return. And then hopefully we're going to be delving deeper into the dungeon, because we have to get some things upgraded. See you guys next time.